Greetings and welcome to the first video in my quick tutorial series. In this episode I will show you how efficient is it to combine meshes in Unity 3D. So as you can see I got a pretty complex scene. It consists of walls which are pretty much component-wise empty containers and they contain lots of cubes. So let's see how well it does. Let's turn on the stats panel, stats panel and hit play. So currently we've got lots of uh, lots of separated cubes instead of combined meshes. So it does pretty badly. We got 10, 20 frames per second. It's pretty low. The reason behind this is that we've got a very huge uh, batches count per frame. So what batches are really is uh, instead of Unity calling the graphics API one by one, by, uh, vertex by vertex, or how should I? say it, uh, instead of calling, instead of sending draw calls one by one to the graphics API like Vulkan, DirectX, OpenGL, it batches them together into batches based on similarities. So Unity can save a lot of, uh, a lot of resources every frame. So we have to lower that batches count by, by combining these individuals, individual, individual, you know what I meant, cubes into one big piece and then disable these old ones so only the combined one will be rendered. So what we have to do is to fill up our our wall parent object, in my case wall. So let's add the mesh filter, this will contain our mesh, currently it is none, we will set it at runtime. Um, let's add the mesh renderer so it will be seen and the mesh collider for fun so uh, we, all, we also can use our, our, uh, our combined mesh as a physics collider. Also we have to drag uh, this mater material to our render component so it will have a material. So as you guys already could have guessed this, this uh, ba very basic uh, tutorial only works with uh, a single material objects. So if you have a lot, lots of submeshes, uh, lots of materials, you have to dig deeper. So that's not a five minute video. So let's continue. We got a pretty easy job. Uh, we also, I have to create a script first of all. It's current, currently the basic script, but we've got a pretty easy job because Unity also got an example script for us at the mesh classes combine meshes method. We will use this method as you could have guessed. Let's paste the functionality. Create a new function like combine meshes. Paste it here. Also we could oh no 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 no. Also we could we can we can paste this, we can copy this and paste here. So if we can only attach this script to game objects which has mesh filters and mesh renderers. So you can also call the combine meshes at the start, like it is here, but I want to show you runtime the difference. So I will just uh, remove this. Let's bound it to, to a key. If input get key down, key code, oh, I hate intuition sometimes, key code, and call combine meshes. Uh, basically what, does, what, it, what this script does is it gets all the mesh filter components from the children, it creates a, an array of combine instances, then fills these combine uh, instances with the mesh filters data. So like combine instances mesh will mesh will be a mesh filters shared mesh and the combine instances a matrix transformation will be the mesh filters local to word matrix and also it disables um, the the just processed game objects so it won't be rendered but this is a bit obsolete thanks Unity for being up to date and this is also obsolete. Sometimes this line, uh, sometimes the combine, uh, mesh combining disables the game objects for me. So I think that's why they put this. But sometimes I remove this line and it works just fine. So I don't know. So after it processed all the mesh filters, we'll just create a new mesh for our parent object. We will clean this code a bit up by 
reusing this variable and so it creates a new mesh and after that the, uh, it combines the old meshes into this new mesh also we should we don't even have to use transform we should set our mesh colliders shared mesh I think shared mesh property to our new mesh so I think it should work maybe there will be only one issue if there will be I will show that fix okay 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 let's check it out I hope I won't fail this time I already failed a few times before okay it's just compiled so we've got 20 frames per second 16,000 uh, batches and we've got 100 batches and 1,100 1, frames per second so the optimization did work we've got uh, four times more frames I think but the problem here as you can see they have translated to the eternity and this is I don't know the correct reason behind this but somewhere there um, so we have to transfer our parent object after the combination to back to the origin of the coordinate system and rotate back to the normal scale back etc etc because every transformation is already done after the com in during the combination so we would have been uh, transfer it twice if we don't do that I don't know why they didn't put this here maybe I'm wrong but this most of the in in all of my cases before this fixed it so let's fix this by position vector 3 that's 0 and also transform point pol, uh, rotation quaternion with identity I think the correct order of these is rotation first because that's how the matrices are being multiplicated in the GPU if you are familiar with computer graphics you know how the the MVP matrix works and also I think that the scale should go first uh, I think this will does it let's see how well it does I hope I'm recording the video because it's a pretty good take let's see the miracle happen congratulations you have finally achieved mesh combinating in unity 3d and we've earned lots of resource every frame clap yourself meme review so this is ended the video so if you like if you like to see more great content be uh, feel free to subscribe and also you could leave a live leave, leave some feedback in the comment section or suggest something I could show or or just say something about the video thanks for watching see you next time bye bye bye